Hi, and welcome to a low vision microscope demo from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how a low vision student could access a microscope. Students who have good central vision may be able to use the microscope as is, so it's worth a conversation to see if this will work for your particular student. Students with poor central vision but good peripheral vision may find it difficult to use a microscope and need an alternate means of access. If you have a digital microscope, great! Plug it into a large screen and a student can use this for easier viewing. If you don't have a digital microscope, this method might be for you. We'll be viewing sugar crystals using a monocular optical microscope a ninth generation iPad and a hoverbar duo stand. Firstly, set up the microscope so that the image is in focus for yourself through the eyepiece. Next, set up the iPad on the stand. The stand needs to be tall enough to sit over the microscope and have adjustable height and iPad angling capabilities. This next part can be a bit fiddly so make sure to test it out well before you want to do it in class. For the best view, you want the iPad camera sitting just above the eyepiece and perpendicular to it. I found this to be easier with a vertical eyepiece. Once the image is stable, use the fine focusing knob to get the image as sharp as possible. You can zoom in and out on the iPad itself using the pinch gesture. The students may need some assistance getting things lined up again in the event of a bump of the iPad or the microscope, either from a teacher or a lab partner. The student can also take some pictures for later viewing. This could be useful for the whole class, as well as for the student with low vision. You could test this out with other optical microscopes at your school, but just be aware that if there's an angle on the eyepiece, it can be harder to position the iPad. Thanks for watching this low vision microscope demo from the Statewide Vision Resource Centre.